There you go. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I think we'll be ready for our first flight soon. Hey everyone, it is 777. It's me and my son, Aiden. So um, we're here, we're gonna be maintaining um, the Hobby King uh, paramotor. Eric helped me out with the uh, the radio programming and uh, thank you so much, Eric. So guys, uh, here it is. Um, I have it set up uh, with, so here is the right, left, and brake. And um, we've got a little wind coming this direction, so we are gonna launch going the other direction here. So I'm gonna give my phone over to Aiden. Demo 7 and I'm here with the Hobby King paramotor. Uh, I just had a, a pretty nice flight with it. Um, so one of the main things about para, paramotors um, yeah, that you have to realize and that I'm realizing is that you really have to have it set up on windy days uh, with enough weight. So this they say from about 1700 to two, uh, two kilograms which is 2000 grams. So what I have here right now a 5000 milliamp pack 3S down here because the motor and ESC take uh, 3S. And then I have uh, another 2200 on the top here. This gets it to about 1500 uh, grams, which is a little bit too light for the wind that I have right now. So uh, when I did a successful flight uh, out in my, my old Irvine field, I actually had both of these battery packs up inside here, which got it to like 15, uh, 1600 grams right around there. So it's a little windy today, so I'm going to put this pack on here and I'll put you guys on a um, tripod. I'll see if I can't get the launch and uh, me flying this around a little bit uh, so you guys can actually see it flying. But it flies really, really nice. I just have to get that weight a little bit further up, I think. Um, it's very sensitive on the um, throttle, so 
you have to really ease into the throttle easily as you're going into the wind. If you have it too much throttle, you know, you can actually uh, sway the thing a little bit too much. So it's, um, it's a little weird. It's a little getting used to, and it's w really weird trying not to hit your elevator stick because your elevator stick is actually your brakes. Uh, so to make this thing go up, you actually accelerate more and it pitches the wing up and then, then you start to climb. Um, so we've got the extra weight on here and it's, it's flying pretty good today. So, so guys, one of the things that I, I'm doing is that it's really hard to uh, mon monitor your throttle as you're getting up and ready to launch because uh, it's, it's a big timing thing because you have to monitor the wing as it comes up, make sure it's coming up straight and then you have to give it like half throttle, like a third throttle, throttle half throttle and then from there you've got to release and then give it a little bit more throttle. So what I'm doing is I've got it on a throttle cut um, so that when um, the throttle cut's on, they have no throttle. I'll put it up to about halfway, which is not quite halfway because I have it on a throttle curve. So as I'm launching, I just have my finger on the launch trigger. Um, so as I go to launch, I just flip the switch about midway through. Uh, so it's already set at a spot that I know instead of trying to guess by pushing my thumb up. It really helps with, uh, eliminate one of the timing things that you need to do. So. I'm also flying my Twin Star today. It's flying really great. So guys, um, I'm sure you're wondering, like, what do I think about the Hobby King paramotor? Um, uh, and as you guys know, I love everything that flies. Um, they're a little quirky and they're hard to launch. Uh, I think once you get it down, maybe if you go slightly larger one, it'll be a little bit easier to launch. I'm finding it much, much easier to launch with just a little bit of wind. Uh, when there's no wind, it's really tough. Um, well, I, I should say, the amount of weight I had on here it was tough to launch without any wind because I had the maximum amount of weight and it wants to sink as soon as you uh, get, it, get it going. But uh, I think uh, it's really made very, very, uh, very, very well. The landing gear, anytime I've aborted a landing or hit the ground hard, it's bent the, bent the landing gear. I just kind of bend it back. Um, I'd be interesting to interested to kind of eliminate the uh, the landing gear or in the cart and maybe put the uh, batteries instead of out forward like this, kind of upright. That'd be a, a fun challenge uh, because it'd be more like a, a standard paramotor. I I don't really see what the real reason is that you need a cart there. So, although I know it's kind of scale for some things, but I like it. It's um it's a little bit like slope soaring or or just uh, soaring in general. It's very relaxing. Um, you tend to not get it up that far um, off the ground, although I'm sure you can get it pretty far up. <laughs> uh, but it, it's, it's a nice challenge and it's very unique. I've always uh, been intrigued by paramotors, paragliders, all that type of stuff. So um, I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you click on that link, it tends to help me out. Um, but I appreciate you guys being here and thanks uh, for you guys that are stuck with me into this journey back into RC. I'm going to fly my Twin Star right now and I'll show you guys some video of that on the next video. See you guys. Bye.